All right guys, so today what I'm gonna show you how to do is pattern your door panel from scratch. And you can use this method to panel, pattern pretty much any panel in your car. Um, the reason we're gonna do this from scratch instead of using the old door panels is one, uh, typically old door panels, they're really warped because they're made out of cardboard, so it's really difficult to make good patterns out of those. Another one is maybe you don't even have your old door panels at all. So this is a good, good way to, good method to learn. So um, one other thing is a lot of times the old door panels, they don't really match up along the edge very well. And when we're doing a nice custom interior, we want to make sure that everything looks really sharp and clean. So this is the way I would recommend you doing all your panels. So. Um, there's quite a few different ways you can go about doing this. I'm going to show you my way. Um, basically what I do is I take this double-sided basting tape. It's just basically sticky on both sides and we're going to lay it around the edge of the entire door. And then what we're going to do is take some clear vinyl and lay it over top and it's going to stick to our basting tape really nice. So once we do that we can start to you know lay out our edges and all the holes we need to cut for our window cranks and our door poles and stuff like that. So um, I really like this method. It works really well for me. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically we can just lay this tape along the edge here. And you can just rip it off with your, with your hands. All right, so once you have all your tape on there, we just need to peel off. There's a little cover on the top of the tape that uh, makes it so it doesn't stick to itself on the roll. So just peel all that off. You want to make sure it is stuck on there really nice too. So. All right, so once you're ready, go ahead and cut yourself a piece of clear vinyl. This is uh, just the cheapest stuff you can get at the store. You don't want to use something that's so thin, like a trash bag or something, but this is, uh, you can see it's pretty thick, so it's not going to really stretch a huge amount because uh, that's going to throw your pattern off. But anyways, what we're going to do is just lay this, start to stick this on here. And what we want to do is start to get this to lay flat, just like a door panel would sit on here. 
And what's nice about this tape is you can keep pulling it off and adjusting it. So that's what we're going to do until we get this to lay really flat on here. Then once you get it really close, what we need to do is cut some slits out for these window cranks here because what's happening is it's actually not letting this vinyl sit flat against the door. So we're just going to put some little slits in here. And you just want to keep trying to work as much of the wrinkles out as you can. Just so that it lays as natural as possible. And this is looking pretty good here. I'm going to cut this off so it's out of the way. All right, so once you get to this step, what we can do is take our Sharpie and we can start to mark out all of the edges. And you really want to do a good job at this because the more accurate you are from the beginning, the nicer it's going to turn out in the end. So I'm going to do that. I might get in the way here, so just bear with me.
All right, so now that we've got those edges marked out, what we need to mark is the top here. But on uh, this door, we have this cover that fits over the top of our door panel like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this on here where it's supposed to sit and I'm gonna mark the bottom of this. And then when we go to make our door panel, I'm gonna bring it up probably about three quarters of an inch past this. So I'm just gonna cut this extra out of the way. So I'll just set this on there like that, and I'm going to mark this line. And then I'm going to make myself a little note that says plus three quarters of an inch. So I know to cut this just a little bit higher. After that, we can go ahead and start marking our holes for our uh, window cranks. And then one other thing that I like to do is I like, because we're going to have to put um, clips in this door to hold the door panel on. And uh, what I like to do is mark any areas where we're not going to be able to put those clips. So basically, you can see this area where it dips down here. For sure, we're not going to be able to put any clips there. So I'm just going to mark this and we can use this as a guide later on when we're installing the door panel so we know that there's no no clips we can install here. Same with this area. especially around the hinges too. You want to make a note of those because you can't fit any panel clips there. So that's pretty much it for this step. This pattern's looking pretty good. We can go ahead and peel this off. And you're going to want to go ahead and leave this uh, tape on here for now because we're going to, it's going to help us when we're 
fit in the door panel to help us hold it on the door, so we'll leave that on. All right, now we can go to the table and cut this out. All right, so before we cut this out, the first thing we're gonna do is add that three quarters of an inch that uh, I've made this note here. All right, and then one other thing you might want to make a note of is which um, pattern this is because we're going to have quite a few. We're going to have two door panels and basically two of every other panel. So we're going to want to write on here which, which panel it is. So I'm going to write left door. Um, and after that, we can go ahead and cut this out. All right, so once we have this cut out, what I like to do next is actually transfer this to some chipboard. And you might be thinking, well, why didn't we just go straight to the chipboard and make our template from the door without even using the clear vinyl? And you can do that if you want. I like to do it this way for two reasons, because uh, it gets you really close really fast and um, basically if you just went straight to the chipboard you're going to be cutting and trimming and really doing a lot more work and the other thing I like about it is it allows you to mark out where all the spots that you can't put clips are so that's also another really good reason to do it this way so first what we need to do is tape a few pieces of chipboard together because it won't fit on one. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little temp tack just to hold this down on here while we're marking it out. Because sometimes what can happen is your, your clear vinyl will have a little bit of wrinkles in it. And when you're putting it on the door panel you're, or on the door, you're actually pulling it tight. And then when you take it off, it kind of shrinks back up. So this is also another reason I like to transfer it to the um, chipboard. So one thing you want to make sure of is that you're actually putting this on face up. You don't want this backwards. 
So just take a look at like the notes you left and everything and make sure that you have it facing the right direction. All right, and after this, we can just go ahead and mark out our template. All right, and once you're finished with that, we can go ahead and cut this out. Alright, so after we have this piece cut out, we can go ahead and set this on the door and we can start to fine tune our template. Alright, so now what we want to do is just tet fist this template that we just made. So we're just going to place this up here and kind of help uh, have this uh, tape that we put on there help us. And uh, what we're checking for is just that everything lines up pretty well and there's no nothing that's you know off if there's a spot that let's say it's too far in then we'll what we'll do is we would uh, tape an extra piece of chipboard there and uh, we can use that to kind of extend it out to where we need it and then we can cut it back or if uh, there was too much we can come make some marks and uh, take off a little more but honestly, this, uh, this one's actually looking really good. So once you guys get it to this point, what uh, I like to do is kind of hold it in place where, 
where it lines up the best. And then what we're going to do is put some marks right here on all of our window mechanisms and door pole spots right here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make an X through the center on our template here. And what this is going to do is show us exactly where the center is so that we can, when we're making our panel, we can connect these lines and we'll have a center line for, uh, <clears throat> for where we need to drill these holes. All right, now we're ready to go and cut our panel out.